Hi, this is Tadi from Balsonic, and today I want to show you two different ways to show multiple selection in lists in your mockups. So right now, uh, we only allow you to select one item at a time. So to uh, show multiple selection, what you can do is you can add a rectangle control with no border, make it blue, and 25% to pick. And so then, this can become your selection control. Now it looks a little bit different than the main one, so what you can do is say none here, and then duplicate this as much as you want. Um, you can even group this and make it a simple selection rectangle. You can make it a symbol so that then you can use it easily from Quick Add or the UI library. And there it is. So let's say I'm going to select these two rows and the first row as well. Looks pretty good. Nice and easy. Okay, there's another way to do that, uh, to do multiple selection, which is to um, do it this way. It's a little, it's a little, takes a little longer, but the result might look a little better. So you can uh, just take your list, duplicate it, change the selection to what you want it to, to be, to the other one, and then group the control, and then you can crop it, just take the bottom part, doesn't matter. You don't have to be super precise because you're going to overlay it on top. And then you can select these two and group them again so that they stretch together, etc. So let's do that again. I'm going to select the first row here, duplicate, select the other row that I want to have selected, group it so that then I can crop it, and I move it to the bottom, crop, and then I overlay it on top. I can select both and group them together. And there you have multiple selection again. This one looks a little better, but it takes a, it's a few more steps. All right, I hope this helps. Bye.